hi everybody it's Dory welcome back to my YouTube channel uh, I am a few days late for posting my um, update video uh, but in any event here we are uh, if you're new here welcome if you've been here for a while I'm so glad you're back uh, my name is Dory I am 48 years old I am five foot four inches tall and on September 12th of 2016 I had a vertical sleeve gastrectomy weight loss surgery my highest recorded weight was 350 pounds a uh, day of surgery was 300.5 uh, the lowest I've seen about 13 14 months ago which was a uh, 156.3 um, I am um, still maintaining at 169. Uh, I had gotten down to like 167, I believe it was within the last couple weeks. Um, but of course, uh, I have my cycle and it is what it is. So um, I'm not really too concerned about the scale. It'll come down when it's ready. Uh, what I am excited about is my husband will be home in three days. I'm so excited. So this time did go by pretty fast. Um, and then when he gets home, he gets to have a, um, quarantine time with us. So he'll be home, doesn't have to go to work, which is actually fantastic. Uh, he has like 10 day quarantine or whatever, which is great because he can help me to get the kiddos ready uh, for school they are uh, one of my daughters in first grade has been going to school uh, five days a week in person but the others are starting back on Monday in four days uh, they are starting back uh, in person school uh, albeit only two days Monday and Tuesday but hey Monday and Tuesday mommy has time to herself uh, the first time in almost a year uh, March 13th of 2020 is when our last Day of school was um, and you know at that time everything kind of shut down and uh, for the most part I have been home uh, ever since and uh, so this is gonna be fantastic uh, it's really been hard like not having my husband here because it's not like I can just run to the store or if I wanted to go get my nails done I really have to uh, get somebody to come and sit with the kids um, and uh, yeah, so uh, so I'm excited. I'm excited that my hubby will be home. I'm so excited that um, they will be in school on Monday and Tuesdays, which is great because it gives us some time by ourselves. We can go out to have lunch. We can order lunch in, inside. We can watch movies, get caught up on This Is Us. Um, I'm really, really excited. Um, but yeah, so things have been going well. Uh, definitely still having to play the mind game as far as um, how my clothes are fitting and uh, things of that nature. Um, the funny thing is that, you know, I was 169 and, um, you know, which is kind of up a couple of pounds. Um, but of course, as I said, I have my cycle. So, um, but I, I chose, I, I just got out of the shower a little bit ago. I put on these leggings that I bought from Amazon. They're supposed to be like one of the best leggings. You know not see-through but you know really comfortable and they are and I got size medium but the funny thing is because I felt a little a little bit um, like bloated I'm not necessarily bloated but it's just how I feel um, I put them on thinking they would be tight and normally um, like a couple weeks ago or a month ago when I got them they're probably like you know not too tight they're not too you know compression um, but they were you know enough where you know I could feel a little bit of compression today I put them on and they're like humongous and I kept thinking to myself I wonder if I put on the wrong pair like do I did I get the wrong pair but no these are them and so where they would just go up to my they're kind of high-rise um, they like go way up <laughs> So I don't know, I'm, maybe I'm just losing inches, um, you know, whatever. But I'm not really too concerned about it, guys, because, you know, I've been doing this for a long time. I know what I'm doing. Um, as you know, I don't subscribe to any one diet, although I do stick to low carb. Um, you know, I use a Keto Mojo GK Plus uh, ketone monitor, and that's really just to... Uh, monitor my ketones and just making sure that my body is burning fat and not um, muscle 
uh, at my age, I mean, we really have to watch out for our muscle. We really should be building our muscle, um, working on things like um, um, balance and things of that nature, which is the number one reason why people have to go into a nursing home when they're in their 60s and 70s, 80s, 90s, whatever, is because they're a fall risk. And so I never want that to happen. So I am going to start doing more yoga and more um, stretching and balance type things. I haven't really started that, although um, my mind just hasn't been uh, focused on that. I'm just kind of, you know, when you're part of a military family and your spouse is gone um, on a uh, mission, um, we call it a TDY, temporary duty, um, you're just kind of in survival mode. You're just kind of like, okay, I gotta be the mom, I gotta be the dad, I've got to uh, make sure that my household is running, make sure that we have you know, heat and um, food and the bills are paid and just things like that. And so that's kind of where I've been. That's my mommy mentality, um, which is not hard for me. That's just basically um, where I am. So anyways, but all that to just say that um, I am going to start working on that, especially with the kids going back to school Monday and Tuesday. Um, I think I'm going to get back into the mall walking. I loved doing the brisk walk as soon as I dropped them off, coming home, um, having a nice shower, getting out, going for coffee if I feel like it. Uh, for the next couple weeks, my husband will be off. They're going to um, let him have time to, uh, they don't call it quarantine, but whatever. He'll have a COVID test when he gets back, and then he'll be home for like, I want to say about 10 days, 14 days maybe, 14 days I think, um, which is great. It'll be great for us as a family, uh, especially for him and I just to have the Monday and Tuesday off and then um, the kids will remote school Wednesday, Thursday and Friday except for my six year old. Um, she's been five days a week and her school has not had any issues whatsoever. Um, but for whatever reason, they're taking the Wednesday away from all of the children. And so she'll be only going to school Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, which means I have her and my friend's son now on Wednesday. So Wednesday is going to be a heavy day for us. Um, but anyways, I mean, we're getting to the tail end of school. Uh, this summer, we're planning on taking a trip to uh, North Carolina. That is where my in-laws live. They moved to Waxhaw. Um, near Charlotte and they moved like three times within the last like two years or something uh, or three years and anyway so she uh, yeah so they want us to come down they want us to move down um, as I said in a previous video we're not really sure where we're moving it is a seller's market right now not a buyer's market so I'm not really um, too concerned about you know doing you know moving now it you know wherever we re relocate out of this state is going to be a lot because it's packing up 10 years we've been in this home and so it's just a lot it's a lot to relocate even if it was local um we definitely are looking at fort worth uh texas san antonio texas around that area dallas um but um we're treading slowly we're not going to make any um, harsh and quick decisions and we're just getting our finances in order paying off all our debt I have my one last debt that will be paid in two weeks uh, and that is our car and then we will be debt free and we don't own a home yet so we don't even have a mortgage we have a very low rent which is why I'm not really like wanting to just run out of here so quick I really want to get a you know a good bang for our buck um, in the housing uh, market, which uh, looks to be down south. Um, and so, yeah, so that's just really what we're doing. I want to move into a home that is going to be big enough, but not too big. Um, you know, more of a better temperature, um, you know, things things like that. I just, you know, but I'm not really in a rush. I mean, our, our, more, I mean, our uh, rent here is only $1,075. And we have four bedrooms, a huge yard, a huge deck. Um, you know, it's an older home, uh, but you, you know, you take what you, you know, you give and take here and there. And, uh, you know, we like it. We've been here 10 years, uh, almost 10 and a half years. And uh, it is what it is. But, I mean, we all have a good amount of space. We have an upstairs, downstairs. So I'm upstairs now. The kiddos are downstairs playing Xbox. 
uh, Minecraft together and um, yeah so I'm just preparing for my husband to come home the kids are excited he'll be home on Sunday um, he's leaving very early in the morning um, they did uh, you know unfortunately there's still a lot of politics being played in Washington especially with Pelosi and um, I can't really go into detail but I will tell you that they're not needed there um, she's making a big thing out of nothing and there is no threat there all the streets have been closed down since uh, the beginning of January and no one can even get near any of that stuff and so um, they have thousands and thousands of National Guard members there and none of them are needed um, quite honestly um, our our um, our taxes are being uh, misused uh, misappropriated and um, yeah it's they're not needed there at all and so um, I know my friend's husband is there my husband is actually Air National Guard her husband is Army National Guard um, and he has to stay longer um, and he doesn't have a choice my husband had a choice um, and of course he wants to come home um, there's nothing to do there there really is not nothing to do and so um, he trained and he got more training under his belt and um, he was excited about that and he was sworn in as a uh, federal marshal and he got to work with Secret Service and kind of learn some stuff and he's you know he had riot training and I mean so much training and it was really good for him it's something that now he can put on his resume but guys he works on jet engines like the two don't even coincide together but he went to serve his country which is why he served uh why he serves in the military um and so anyhow all that to say <laughs> i'm glad he's coming home uh so sunday evening i am planning um you know he'll return to base and i'm sure he's got you know he's got in processing to do and covid tests and this test and just all of this stuff to do and um but i'm planning a nice dinner i'm gonna make steak and seafood probably lobster maybe i'll have some scallops uh baked sweet potatoes um i'm just so excited a salad uh i can taste it now <laughs> and so we're just excited the kids and i are excited to have daddy home um you know it's just it's gonna be a great time so we are going to be um, the next couple of days just awaiting daddy's arrival I can't wait to go to base uh, go on base to um, pick him up and to see him um, yeah it's great he uh, he's homesick uh, him and I have a wonderful wonderful marriage a wonderful friendship co-parenting we do it all uh, and we just fit perfect and um, yeah so anyway so it'll be great to have him home uh, as far as what I'm eating I know you guys want to know weight and kind of what I'm eating to kind of stay down and not get back into the 170s um, I'm eating two to three meals a day small meals um, one thing I am concentrating on this week is eating slower um, over the last probably week or two, I haven't really been concentrating on um, chewing and eating slowly and kind of digesting the food. And so <clears throat> that is what I'm concentrating on this week. I made, um, I took a pound of grass fed, grass finished uh, beef and a pound of ground pork. And I put that together with some taco seasoning from Fresh Jack's and I added, um, I think it was 12 ounces of shredded uh, cheddar, Tillamook shredded cheddar. I put that bag in there and that's what I've been eating on. I have it in half cup portions in a small little container in my refrigerator. <clears throat> I am having a Whole Foods order delivered tomorrow and on that order I have cod and I have a steak, which is probably what I'm gonna do on Sunday for my husband since I already have it here. I bought a really nice sirloin. Um, I have my coffee, which is, uh, it's on a previous video, I think like a eat with me video or whatever, um, what I eat in a day video. And basically, um, I do a community, uh, coffee K cup. It's a vanilla. That's my favorite. Although I do like their others as well. Um, that is a, uh, very small, 
uh, owned business uh, down south, Community Coffee. I love it. Uh, Nicole Burgess uses it. There's a couple other YouTubers that use it. Uh, but I use vanilla, and then I use one scoop of uh, uh, Perfect Keto Collagen. The ones that I'm using right now are vanilla, and I also have their Cinnamon Toast, which are both are delicious. Uh, I also take a uh, one tablespoon of coconut oil and I put that in there so I could have the extra um, oil and uh, the Perfect Keto does have MCT oil in it. Um, and then I have four tablespoons of my vanilla nut pods. I take um, one tablespoon of the Lakanto Monk Fruit Sweetener and what else? Oh, and I froth it up and I top it with cinnamon. And that is my coffee. So I'm having that daily. Um, and then what else have I been eating? Oh, I had sardines yesterday with some wisps, uh, barbecue flavored wisps, which was so sorry. I'm back. My uh, daughter just called me to tell me that my granddaughter, Ember, got her first tooth showing. It's popping right through. She's going to be six months old in a couple of days. Ah, oh, so, um, so yes. Yeah, so what was I saying? Um, my coffee, sardines, wisps, um, Oh, and every day I have a Quest two-pack of the peanut butter cups. Those are my absolute favorite. I take them and I cut them like a pizza. So there's like 8 or 10 or 12 little pieces. And so I eat it. It makes it look like I've eaten more. Um, so I have that every day. That's 190 calories, less than one um, uh, one um, gram of... Um, carbs or it's one it's one gram of carbs and less than one gram of sugar and they are delicious they hit the spot they help me to feel like I'm having a treat every day uh, I am drinking my water although I'm not pushing the 120 ounces I'm just drinking when I'm thirsty and that seems to be doing fine because when I step on my Renfo scale it measures and tells me that I have enough water in my body so that's uh, fantastic if you hear some banging, it's my old radiator over here. Um, and so, yeah, so what else is happening? Um, what else do I eat? Um, protein bars. I love my Power Crunch bar when I feel like having one. Um, Chalk Zero. I will say um, my last order from Chalk Zero, I was not happy. Um, I was happy after I contacted customer service a couple of times and they refunded the whole thing. But um, they took out my favorite the white chocolate raspberry filled truffles. They no longer have them. Um, and then I got all those raspberry roses like for Valentine's Day. I don't like them. Um, I'm probably one of the few that maybe doesn't like them. I don't know how many people like them. I don't really care for them. Um, so I'm sure they'll last me a while. I still have my advent calendars I purchased through them. So I do, you know, try to eat uh, low, you know, less. I don't try to just, okay, because I have it, I want to hurry up and eat it. I don't do that. Um, but yeah, so that's basically what I'm eating. I will meal prep something. Oh, and the other thing too that I absolutely love are the chicken sausages. Uh, I've had the Asiago in garlic. I've had um, Amy Lou puts out a really good one. Very clean. I got a couple from Thrive Market. Uh, I just started getting their box. Um, I'm actually putting together another one. And um, so I love their chicken sausages. So I have, I mean, plain or whatever. I fry them in a pan or I just take them out. They're always fully cooked. I do also like the, um, the um, kibasa as long as it's clean and things like that. But that's what I'm loving the most. Those, one of those links is filling. It's, they're either 120 to 150 calories per link, either zero or one gram of carbs. And they're just so delicious. And I have that with the um, cheese sauce that uh, Nicole Burgess does, which is very simple. A pound of American cheese, um, one eight ounce package of Philadelphia cream cheese, um, a quarter of a cup of almond unsweetened milk, and you can or cannot add the can of the diced chilies. Uh, a couple times I made it, I added them. The last time I made it, I didn't have any more on hand, so I didn't add it, and then I just got a Walmart grocery delivery or grocery pickup today, and I did get another can, so when I'm ready to make it again, I eat that every day. I have a serving of her, um, 
her queso and the serving I use uh, with my meat or whatever I'm using, I'll use wisp to dip in or pork rinds or something. Um, it's like, I think it's like under 200 calories, maybe it's like 200 and something calories and like two carbs maybe um, for my serving. And so that has been fantastic. My hair is growing, it's getting thicker. I'm sure it's because of the collagen that I use every day. Um, I'm sure it's uh, it's exciting for my husband. He likes longer hair, so I'm gonna let it grow out a little bit, but I'm definitely not gonna let it go too long because then it makes it look too thin. Um, but that's really it for now, guys. Um, thanks for stopping by, and uh, I appreciate each and every one of you, and uh, I hope in the future I get more videos out to you and you guys will like and subscribe and share. And uh, I love the more the merrier. Thanks, guys. Have a good day.